The female reproductive cycle, also known as the menstrual cycle, is a natural repeating process that prepares the body for the possibility of pregnancy. It usually lasts about 28 days, although the exact length can vary from person to person and even from month to month. This cycle involves the coordinated work of the brain, hormones, ovaries, and uterus. Each part plays an important role in making sure that an egg can mature, be released, and if fertilized, implant in the uterus. When pregnancy does not occur, the body naturally sheds the inner lining of the uterus, resulting in menstruation, which marks the beginning of a new cycle. The cycle begins with the first day of menstrual bleeding. At this stage, the uterus is releasing its inner lining, called the endometrium, which had thickened during the previous cycle in preparation for a possible pregnancy. This shedding causes menstrual flow, which is a mix of blood, tissue, and mucus leaving the body through the vagina. On average, menstrual bleeding lasts between three and seven days. During this time, hormone levels of estrogen and progesterone are low. These low hormone levels signal the brain to start preparing for the next cycle. The brain plays a central role in controlling the cycle. A small area at the base of the brain, called the hypothalamus, monitors hormone levels and sends signals to another gland nearby known as the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus releases a chemical messenger called gonadotropin, releasing hormone, or GnRH. This hormone tells the pituitary gland to release two other important hormones, follicle, stimulating hormone FSH and luteinizing hormone LH. These two hormones travel through the bloodstream to the ovaries and guide their activity. As the menstrual period ends and hormone levels begin to rise, FSH stimulates several small fluid, filled sacs in the ovaries, called follicles, to start developing. Each follicle contains an immature egg. Usually, only one of these follicles becomes dominant, meaning it continues to grow while the others stop developing and eventually disappear. Inside the growing follicle, the egg begins to mature. As the follicle enlarges, it produces more and more estrogen, a hormone that helps rebuild the uterine lining. Estrogen makes the endometrium thicker, richer in blood vessels, and ready to receive a fertilized egg. This phase, when the follicles are growing and estrogen is rising, is known as the follicular phase. As estrogen levels climb, they send feedback signals to the brain. At first, this high level of estrogen slows down the release of FSH to prevent too many follicles from developing. Then, when estrogen reaches a certain peak, it triggers a sudden and sharp increase in LH from the pituitary gland. This rise, known as the LH surge, is what causes ovulation. Ovulation is the process where the mature egg bursts out of its follicle and is released from the ovary. This typically happens around the middle of the cycle, about 14 days before the next period, after the egg is released, it is swept into the nearby fallopian tube by tiny finger, like projections called fimbriae. The fallopian tube is where fertilization, if it happens, will take place. The egg can survive for about 24 hours after ovulation, waiting for a sperm to reach it. If sperm are present, one may penetrate and fertilize the egg, forming a single cell with all the genetic material needed to develop into a new human being. Meanwhile, the empty follicle left behind in the ovary transforms into a temporary structure called the corpus luteum. This structure begins to produce progesterone, another important hormone. Progesterone works with estrogen to continue preparing the uterus for a possible pregnancy. It helps maintain and further thicken the endometrial lining, making it soft and full of nutrients. This stage of the cycle following ovulation is known as the luteal phase, the luteal phase typically lasts about two weeks. If fertilization does not occur, the egg simply breaks down and is absorbed by the body. The corpus luteum also begins to shrink and stop producing hormones. As progesterone and estrogen levels drop, the endometrial lining can no longer be maintained. Blood vessels in the lining constrict, cutting off the oxygen supply to the tissue. Eventually, the lining breaks down and is released from the uterus through the vagina, this marks the start of a new menstrual period, and the cycle begins again. However, if fertilization and implantation occur, the developing embryo sends a signal to the body to keep the corpus luteum alive. It releases a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG, which maintains the production of progesterone and prevents the uterine lining from shedding. 
This is how early pregnancy is sustained before the placenta takes over hormone production a few weeks later. Several factors can influence the menstrual cycle. Stress, illness, significant weight changes, intense exercise, or hormonal imbalances can all affect how regularly the cycle occurs. For example, conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, can disrupt normal hormone levels, leading to irregular ovulation or missed periods. Thyroid disorders or eating disorders may also interfere with the delicate balance of hormones that control the cycle. Even emotional stress can affect the hypothalamus, altering its signals to the pituitary gland and temporarily stopping ovulation. Some people experience discomfort or symptoms during different stages of the cycle. Cramps, bloating, mood changes, and breast tenderness are common. These symptoms are caused by changes in hormone levels and the physical contractions of the uterus as it sheds its lining. For most people, these effects are mild, but sometimes they can be more intense, a condition known as dysmenorrhea. Severe or irregular symptoms may signal an underlying issue, such as endometriosis or hormonal imbalance, and may require medical attention. Understanding the menstrual cycle helps explain much about fertility, reproductive health, and overall well-being. It is not just about menstruation itself, but about a finely tuned system of signals and responses throughout the body. Each cycle represents a natural rhythm that supports the possibility of creating new life while also reflecting the body's hormonal balance and general health. When the cycle runs smoothly, it indicates that the brain, hormones, ovaries, and uterus are communicating effectively. When irregularities occur, it is often the body's way of signaling that something in this delicate system needs attention. The menstrual cycle, in all its complexity and precision, is one of the most remarkable processes in human biology, a repeating pattern of renewal, preparation, and balance that continues throughout much of a woman's life.